every medical officer of health agrees that we need to be really careful as we um, sort of resume um, certain activities and uh, relax public health measures. So this is, um, you know, an example of people watching those trends really carefully. I think uh, there's always been the message in different jurisdictions that there's a flexibility in the public health system to reinstate or pull uh, back on some of the uh, uh, measures as they see fit based on their own epidemiologic uh, context. So I think that um, is what you're seeing in New Brunswick at this point. Canada has made progress and, as you say, uh, flattened the curve and our health systems are not overwhelmed. But there's still a significant um, number of outbreaks and impacts on some of the most vulnerable settings, uh, which is what you're seeing right now as well in long-term care and other um, settings. There are some uh, workplaces reporting cases. There are still some community uh, acquired cases in certain areas, um, very, but, but they're not all over Canada. So, so many different areas of Canada, things are uh, well um, controlled and they've managed to really uh, flatten the curve and maintaining that. So I think Canada, as I've said, is a series of regional epidemics. And so the uh, key provinces at the moment that's experiencing the most cases, the vast majority of cases and the severe illness is Ontario and Quebec. And, and those kind of strategies in targeting specific uh, localities where you may want to offer more testing and access to testing and access to other resources to help um, you know, get the outbreak under control, I think is a very key aspect of bringing that curve down.